Hey everyone! I hope you're doing well in these really strange times in the world and that you and your loved ones are staying safe. Today we're going to look at affordable ways that you can update your patio so that you can enjoy it all summer long. If you're feeling like your patio could use some sprucing up, but you don't want to splash a bunch of cash, I've got some ideas for you. Whether you're a diehard entertainer or you just want to create your own private little oasis, these affordable patio update ideas will help you create the perfect space that you'll want to enjoy all summer long. So number one is outdoor furniture. I know I said affordable updates and I know that furniture can get pricey, believe me but I do believe that having an inviting and comfortable seating area is really what can make or break your outdoor space. If buying new patio furniture isn't on the table for you right now and you already have some, I would suggest maybe you try to refinish it in some way like by painting it or like sanding it and staining it, for example, if it's wood. Repurpose what you already have, bring something outside from inside maybe that you don't use anymore. Or you can try and build your own furniture, which is still cheaper than buying it new, although of course it takes a little bit more effort. There's a lot of really great free plans online. A couple of my favorite websites that have free furniture building plans are the designconfidential.com and annawhite.com. Some beautiful plans there. So the first thing to consider when you're shopping for patio furniture is how you want to use your space. So, for example, are you planning on dining outside a lot or entertaining multiple guests? Then, if that's the case, you'll probably want to get a proper like dining table and chairs. Whereas, if you are just planning on having like a chill out area, then yeah, you could probably get away with just like a sofa and a coffee table type setup or like a conversation set. Or for example, if you have a pool, you might actually only want a couple of loungers and a side table. So it really depends on how you want to use your outdoor space, the kind of furniture that you need to look for. So the second thing to consider with outdoor furniture is whether or not you actually need to leave it outside all year round. So if you don't have a shed or you, you're not able to actually physically bring your furniture in at the end of the warm season, you will really want to pay attention to like, for example, the type of wood that you purchase your furniture out of if it is wood furniture. Woods like cedar, eucalyptus, and teak are going to be far more resistant to humid conditions and can probably withstand being left outside, whereas softer woods like pine and oak are not going to do well if they get rained on. So if you do get a softer type of wood, be prepared to need to like refinish it periodically if you're not going to be bringing it back inside. Another great option for rainy countries is powder coated iron. That is usually rust resistant, so you can leave it outdoors year round and it's not going to ruin your furniture. The cushions that come with store-bought patio furniture are generally weather resistant, but um, just verify that they actually are before you buy them. And also, even if they are weather resistant, I would still recommend bringing them in at the end of the warm season just to like prolong their lifespan. Don't worry, if you're not in a place where you can purchase any new furniture and you can't repurpose anything, you can always update and refresh the look of what you already have by using updated textiles. That will cost a lot less than actually going out and buying new furniture. You can definitely add cozy blankets and accent pillows to kind of spruce up your space and disguise like kind of shabbier looking furniture. Cushions and throws also really help to soften metal furniture, which on its own can sometimes be a little harsh. Keep in mind also that, as I was saying before, if your textiles are not weather resistant, they will have to come in if it rains uh, and definitely at the end of the warm season. There are four types of lighting that can really make a huge difference in your evening patio situation. I don't think you need to use all four, but you can definitely use a combination of some of them. So it would be using string lights, rope lights, solar lights, and candles. String lights are super versatile because they look good pretty much anywhere you put them. And the great thing about string lights is that you can get the plug-in kind, the battery-operated kind, or the solar-powered kind. So depending on where you need to put them, you can decide what kind you need to get. Some ideas of where to hang string lights would be, for example, in a lantern, instead of actually having a candle in your lantern, under an umbrella. You can anchor them across the top of your patio or gazebo, along a balcony railing, 
around a bush, around a tree trunk, or even cascading from branches. These are just a few ideas. I've mentioned this before in other videos, but I'll say it again because I think it's, it's a really important point that not everybody necessarily thinks about, and that's to get warm white colored lights rather than cool white, because cool white tends to be kind of office-y and sterile feeling, whereas warm white casts more of like an orangey yellow glow and definitely feels a lot more cozy and inviting. So definitely go for the warm white rather than cool white when you're buying your string lights. Second type of affordable lighting is rope lights. Rope lights are essentially like Christmas lights in a plastic tube. The plastic casing makes them weather resistant, which is great, so you can put them pretty much anywhere. Rope lights can be used to outline a path, to highlight steps, to delineate a specific area of your patio at night, or to illuminate railings. As a tip, if you can tuck your rope light under like a lip or an edge of something, when they're off during the day, they'll be invisible, like you won't see the plastic tube. And at night, they'll just kind of glow from this like unseen source. Solar lights are another great garden or patio addition. The great thing is that you don't have to switch them on and off. They do it on their own. That's awesome. Some of the most popular solar lights are those like really cheap $1 ones that seem to like die after a couple of weeks. But actually, I did find out that you can swap out the battery in those and that extends their life for months. So try switching out the battery before you throw them away. So candles can really add to your patio's ambiance. You can place a variety of candles in clustered lanterns and in individual holders. Of course, candles are a fire hazard, so never leave them unattended and be mindful of them when you're using them. If you're scared of using real candles, definitely go for flameless candles. They kind of create the same effect and they're not gonna burn your house down. And don't forget citronella candles if you live in an area that has uh, nasty mosquitoes. Next are fire pits. You can DIY a fire pit or you can buy a very basic one for under $100. If where you live allows for one, fire pits really are the ultimate patio addition. Plants and planters are probably the single most impactful change that you can make to your outdoor space. I personally either buy plants from my local supermarket when they're in season, like around now in the spring, or I buy seeds from the dollar store. Packets of seeds cost like a dollar and flats of about 18 flower plants cost me less than $10 and those fill up my whole patio. So honestly, it's really quite inexpensive. If you're short on space, you can try going vertical with your plants. You can use hanging baskets. You can even use like a grid on the wall and hang the plants off the grid on the wall. If you have a bit more space to play with, you can get larger planters and those make quite a big impact visually. Try mixing planters in different widths and heights and group them in odd numbered clusters. Hammocks and hanging chairs can be a really cool addition to your patio as well. Hammocks need a bit more space, but hanging chairs don't need a lot of space. You can also get the ones that have like the freestanding base if it's an issue to hang it from your roof. This macrame style hanging chair and this hammock are my absolute favorites. They're both super affordable and they're both available on Amazon and they'd look amazing in any garden or patio. I've linked them in the description in case you wanna take a look at them. Next are outdoor rugs. Now before you shake your head at me and leave me an angry comment, outdoor rugs are a thing, weatherproof rugs do exist, and they're a great way to tie your outdoor seating area together. Usually they're woven out of man-made synthetic materials and they're quite durable and they can really pull your whole look together. They're also really great for covering like ugly flooring or decking that maybe you're not actually able to replace at the moment. Um, you can just cover that up. Lastly, I would recommend adding a pop of color to your patio. One tried and true classic affordable way of refreshing any space is by painting something, right? So adding a color pop. Just grab a can of paint of your favorite color and paint something, whether it's the railing or you know the trim around the door. Paint any accent on your patio that you think could use a bit of personality. If you can't paint any actual parts of your patio, try painting maybe your furniture or your planters. And then if you also add in some of the other things that we talked about, like some nice lights and a rug, and maybe you refinish some of your furniture, just those things alone can really make a huge difference to your outdoor space without having to spend a lot of money. I really hope you found some of these tips useful and that you can implement them this year in your own outdoor space. Let me know if you do. And in the meantime, I hope you stay well and stay safe. Thank you for sharing your time with me today and I will see you next time. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn the bell on, 
and stuff. All right, thanks, bye.